five, it's time to hear the results of one of the most unusual consequences the truth or consequences has ever had. For the past four weeks, our very good-natured contestant, Mr. John Early of Tennessee, has been performing a series of dares that you listeners have sent in. One listener even dared Mr. Early to marry her, but as we anticipated, Mr. Early refused. So we promised to give him another chance. The other chance we felt would be even more impossible than the first. It was a dare sent in first by Miss Fanny Bell Holler of Columbus, Ohio, and she dared Mr. Early to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel. Now, we gave Mr. Early an envelope with a dare written inside of it last week on Truth or Consequences and said for him to be at the place mentioned in the dare this week. We didn't give him a chance last week to open the letter and hear his reactions. We definitely felt he'd refuse, though. The $1,500 would still be intact, and we would further dangle him in suspense. However, we found out during the week that Mr. Early did make use of his ticket to Niagara Falls and that he fully expects us to tune him in there tonight. Remember, the dare is for him to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel. Our NBC outlet in Buffalo, New York, station WBEN, has forewarned us that we probably will have to eat our words and lose the $1,500 to Mr. Early. Now, don't ever let it be said that Mr. Early doesn't have courage and wit. We know his decision, and to let you hear firsthand whether or not he's going over Niagara Falls in a barrel, we take you now to Niagara Falls and to our announcer friend, Marshall Dane, standing near the falls, who will give us a firsthand description of Mr. John Early's activities. Come in, Marshall Dane, at Niagara Falls. Okay, Ralph Edwards, and greetings everybody from one of the seven wonders of the world, Niagara Falls, above Buffalo on the Canadian border in New York State. Well, Ralph Edwards, I'm afraid you're going to lose your $1,500. Mr. John Early, your laughing contestant from Tennessee, has decided to really go over Niagara Falls in a barrel. Mr. Early arrived in Buffalo at station WBEN this week and enlisted the aid of our staff men to help him pull off this unbelievable stunt. Mr. Early started up the great Niagara River just a few minutes ago in a barrel. He says he is going over Niagara Falls in this barrel. Our NBC engineers up here have very ingeniously worked out a shortwave microphone setup for which we can hear Mr. Early speaking from inside the barrel as he heads up the river for Niagara Falls. So hang on to your hat and open up your pocketbook, Brother Edward. Here we go to the man who is out to beat you. Here we go to John Early, who already is on his way to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel. Take it away, John Early, inside the barrel. Here I am. Hello, everybody. Hello, Ralph Edwards. You thought I wouldn't do it, didn't you? Well, I'm inside the barrel on my way over Niagara Falls. I can see the Great Falls in front of me already. I am in a... I want to tell you, they still look beautiful from this airplane that I'm flying in over Niagara Falls. I'm sitting in a very nice barrel in a big DC-3 capsule liner. That's capsule our liner will be just get even with you. I sure want to thank capsule our liners for letting me go over Niagara Falls in a barrel. <laughs> now we're directly over Niagara Falls. There, I just went over the falls. And by God, you can't say I didn't do it. I'll be back in Hollywood Monday morning to collect my $1,500. I wait, Sammy! Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> oh, that son of a gun in an airplane. Went over and I got in a barrel in an airplane. He got me worse than Dusty Rhodes did. Well, I can't deny it, Mr. John Early went over Niagara Falls uh, in a barrel, even if it was in the cabin of a uh, capital airline, DC-3, hundreds of feet above Niagara Falls. I told you that that uh, there was something to anticipate, and that's what it was. Well, we'll welcome him with open arms when Mr. Early returns to collect his prize. <laughs> we'll be in Chicago, but he won't know that. And uh, <laughs> while we're at it, we'll send uh, Miss uh, Fanny Bell Holler of Columbus, Ohio, a 72-piece set of fine art sterling silver for being at the top of the list with the Niagara Falls there. All's well that ends well, and brother, Mr. Early sure fixed me. That's all I can say. <laughs> well, Niagara Falls in a barrel, all right. In a, in a, uh, a barrel in an airplane.